welcome back to your 3ds Max tutorials and um, this time I'm just going to kick off the tutorial um, with a continuation of um, the, the viewport setup so I'm quickly just going to draw in a box here again like so and we'll drop in a sphere that's fine so we finished off just by um, using the roll the, the roller wheel and the mouse buttons and um, to to uh, alter your viewport and we also touched on using the view cube okay so you can also use this ring below the view cube to rotate your view around and you can click the home button to set yourself back to your default uh, default view orientation now if you would like to set an alternative uh, viewport as your default well you can simply right click on the on the, cube, on the view cube after you have set your um, your desired uh, view, right click on the viewport and then go down to set current view as home. Now there's a lot more settings that you can change and alter um, regarding your view cube, view cube um, by selecting your uh, configure and you can see here you have your viewport configuration settings in the center of your screen. That's fine. Alternatively you can edit your views by uh, going up to your uh, menu bar, clicking on views, and in your drop down option here, there's a lot of different view options, and your viewport, or your view cube, sorry, your view cube uh, settings, configurations can be, uh, can be reached from, from just here. Okay. So, while we're talking about setting up our preferences, we can just go up here to customize, click on customize from your menu bar, drop it down, and in preferences, this will give you pretty much all of the options and application settings um, for your 3ds Max um, software. So that's fine, we leave everything as default for now, and we'll go back into customize, and into unit setup. Okay, so here we have display unit scale, and I recommend that you just um, set your, your display units to millimeters, uh, metric and millimeters. By default, 3ds Max is set as um, inches. If you just click here on system unit setup, again, just make sure that you uh, select, select uh, millimeters. And 3ds Max runs a lot smoother when it's running on millimeters. <coughs> particularly when you're rendering and animating or simulating sequences and uh, the performance of, of 3ds Max can be put under pressure so when you're running with mil dealing with millimeters everything is reduced so when you're dealing with modifications um, everything everything is, uh, is running on a lot smaller scale so it's uh, it's, it's a lot easier to, to manage okay so I'm just going to move on, I'm going to delete this sphere out of our way and I'm just going to show you now how to modify this this um, this rectangular shaped um, box for the moment. Okay so let's just go over here to our modify modify panel from our commands. Okay so it's located right beside create click on modify and here we have our parameters. So I'm just going to set the length to 50, the width to 5, and the height to 80, just for now, okay? So here we have our box. I'm just gonna, just gonna go through a quick, a quick, very useful little, uh, little tool here, which is cloning a particular object which is very simple and very handy little little tool, very useful. So here we have our, our rectangular shape. And as we discussed in our previous tutorial, we can move these by selecting a particular axis or the box underneath. And by holding down shift and in the direction that we would like to move it in, you can see it clones the, the object and it gives us the options, the clone options to copy it as a copy an instance or a reference. So let me just uh, go through this by, uh, by showing you what happens. So if I just select this as a copy 
and press OK. And here we have our parameters. So I'm going to just put this to, we change the width to 100. And you can see this piece, this object has um, moved independently with no relationship to the original, to the original rectangle. So I'm going to undo that. Okay. And this time we're going to copy him as an instance and select OK. And this time when we change the length to 100, both objects have been updated. And I'll undo that one more time. And this time we're going to select the object as a reference. And this time you can see that there are no parameters. The parameters have been removed from this um, modif modify area. So what this means is the original will now control the cloned object. So if I go to 100, so you can see that the original is only, uh, it's, it's the only way of manipulating the parameters of the cloned object. So I'm going to undo that one more time. And while we're dealing with um, clones, I'm going to very quickly just draw a little um, cabinet shaped piece that will highlight the, the, the usefulness of this tool. So we're going to check our uh, original, original shape. We're going to move it with a clone this direction. And we're going to set them as an instance. And we just call this right Sorry, we'll call it panel or panel or for right panel. And we'll just change the name. You can see up here in the top right hand corner we can change the name of that guy. We probably should have done this, should have done this originally. However, we'll roll with it for now. Now this time we're going to rotate this guy and again by holding shift. But before we do that. Let's just look up here and make sure that our angle toggle, angle snap toggle is highlighted. So when we move this, when we rotate this object, that is move is rotating in five degree increments. So we can go to ninety degrees very easily. But we don't want this guy to be an instance. We want this guy to be a copy in its own right, and we call this panel base. Okay. Now this time we're going to move the panel in the Z direction as a clone, like so. And this time he will be an instance. And we'll call this panel top. Okay. So here we have four, four to four size of our carcass construction. So again, we go up here to our snaps, right click, and go to snaps and endpoint is checked by default grid points will be checked and um, but for this case we will select endpoint and just highlight uh, highlight your snap toggle by um, pressing the hotkey s and you can see now that the uh, that this snap is only snapping on the endpoint so we want to move this object by selecting the endpoint and you can see once it goes green then it's it's going to mate to that area so I'm going to take this section out of the way and snap him to, to here and then one more time take that bottom corner and snap it to here I'm going to turn off the snaps by pressing S and here we have a cube shaped carcass okay and press Z and it will zoom extend that viewport. Okay, so I hope that was of some use to you and in our next tutorial we will be um, creating some more objects from the create command panel over here and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you are practicing in the meantime and I'll see you in the next tutorial.